Hi guys, I'm Leela from Ukulele Therapy and today we're going to do a music therapy session about anxiety and panic. So first we're going to talk about anxiety and the type of anxiety that I'm going to talk about is just feeling stressed and super nervous and just generally uneasy. So kind of like how you might feel before going in for an important job interview. It's kind of anxiety that everyone experiences. Second, I'm going to talk about panic and we're going to talk about how to cope and deal with panic attacks. So the first thing we're gonna do is a mindfulness technique. I'm gonna play a bell noise and you're going to focus on the sound and think about when the bell sound ends. When it ends, I want you to take a deep breath. So listen very carefully to when the sound ends. So think about how focused you were on this noise, or maybe you weren't focused at all and you need to practice that, I don't know. So this can be really useful for when your mind is racing and racing like it might do before you go to sleep and you can't sleep. You don't have to carry a bell around with you and pull it out and play it whenever your mind is racing. Although there is an app and a website for that, which I will put in my description. You can do this with anything. But this is why counting sheep can be so effective. You're just so focused and thinking about one thing or you can look at the ceiling and count the tiles that you see in the ceiling or think about the colors just putting all your focus on one thing so we've been talking about some mindfulness techniques and the first video that i ever made on this channel is actually about mindfulness if you want to watch that i'll put the link in the description but it's just about how music can really help with being mindful and focused so listening to music and sounds can be a good technique for coping with anxiety for a lot of reasons one being music has been proven to lower your blood pressure and your heart rate and steady rhythmic beats are good because we like consistency and familiarity as humans also your heart begins to match the tempo of the song that you're listening to so it can steady your heart rate and just bring your blood pressure down make you feel more calm so not just music but sounds like the ocean or crickets can be very calming because those are also steady and rhythmic now we're going to talk about panic and how to deal with panic attacks so first i'm going to play a lovely sound for you and i want you to just listen and think about how this sound makes you feel So how did that make you feel when that first came on? I'm sure that your first instinct was to pull out your earphones or turn the volume down. Maybe you just sat there and endured it and thought, well, this is unpleasant. This is part of the therapy. I need this. No, but I am trying to prove a point. So typically when you have a panic attack, your first instinct is to try to stop it and keep telling yourself, no, no, this isn't happening. I don't want this to happen. You're thinking about how awful it is, how you're gonna die, how you're going crazy. Well, good news, you're not gonna die and you're not gonna go crazy because of a panic attack. Those thoughts will only make it worse and trying to stop it and telling yourself to stop will only make it worse. So if you can't stop it by saying stop, then what are you supposed to do? So back in college, my flute professor would teach us about performance anxiety and how to handle performance anxiety. And she would tell us to identify what were our performance anxiety symptoms and to try to make those symptoms more. So if your hands get shaky, try to make your hands even more shaky. Or if your heart's just beating really fast, think about making it beat faster and being even more anxious. And it actually really worked. You're leaning into it rather than trying to crawl out of it. Usually the harder and faster you try to crawl out, the harder and faster your symptoms will chase you. So what you want to do is accept your symptoms and wait it out. And I know that sounds crazy because you want to get out of that attack as fast as possible. But the thing is, it's going to end no matter what. Your job during a panic attack is not to try to end it because that's going to happen no matter what. Your job is to make yourself more comfortable. I know that's easier said than done, but here are some small things you can do to make yourself more comfortable during a panic attack. First, challenge your thoughts. Oh, you wanna have a panic attack right now? Fine, come at me. Am I actually dying or do I just feel uncomfortable right now? Here's a hint, you're just feeling uncomfortable, you're not dying. Second, you can think about your body. I have an awesome body. Not like that. Notice what parts of your body are tense and focus on relaxing them, even if it's just one finger. And keep reminding yourself that it's gonna end eventually. You're not gonna die, it will not last forever. Third thing you can do is write about how you feel and what you're experiencing, how your body feels, and just having that objective third person point of view can really help 
and writing can be very calming too. So when I played that beautiful noise for you, you probably went straight for the volume or tried to cover your ears. It's only natural to want to protect ourselves from things that are uncomfortable or potentially dangerous, which is why you try to get away from that sound. The thing about panic attacks is they're only uncomfortable and they're not dangerous but your mind is trying to make you believe that they are dangerous. If you were unable to turn the volume down to that noise and it was surrounding you and you couldn't get away from it, of course you're gonna feel uncomfortable and of course you're gonna wanna get away. The truth is all you can really do is wait for it to end and make yourself more comfortable while you're waiting by practicing these coping skills. And in the end, you're still alive and well. All right, thank you for watching my video. I hope that it was helpful for you in some way. And if it was, like, subscribe or share or not, but please do. Hope you have a great day.